Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordi and welcome to another channel update. Today is New Year's Eve, 31st of December 2019, the final day of the year. I want to thank everyone who tuned in to the final live stream of the year yesterday. It was great to see how many of you turned up. Over 120 views on that video as we speak absolutely phenomenal i couldn't think of a better way to end the year so we're we're here we're gonna i don't know how to start this video really i'm kind of like freestyling pretty much it's all off the top of my head i've not really written any notes down but we're here to talk about 2019 as a whole looking back on all the events and also looking forward to 2020 and that you can bet your ass that i'm looking forward to 2020 so obviously the year got off on a, a pretty crippled foot to be fair um it was a not even a month not even a month after legacy disbanded and just this year was the start of something completely and utterly different simply because this time i was solo pretty much i mean we had tj for the need for speed streams but that was pretty much it um the rest i would pretty much do solo and it was crazy you know uh, well technically i wasn't truly on my own until say the summer um because me and ryan plays gaming were going at it over the whole disc devil thing and then in may i released my first ep i said i was gonna go into the whole um music industry and shit like that and uh, we released uh, Binge Hours, the Binge Hours EP. A lot of you like that. I didn't. <laughs> so, obviously, I released Devil's Advocate earlier this month. But I'm kind of skipping ahead here. But honestly, I've got to skip ahead. I don't really remember much. We had some great series this year. Okay, we had the Red Dead Red We had Red Dead Redemption 2. That started technically in December 2018. But this year, we started playing the Red Dead Online beta with, uh, with TJ. And we also did three more playthroughs of the Red Dead Redemption 2 storyline. That was great. Uh, in the summer, we brought back the Batman series with uh, Arkham Asylum on the 31st of August, was it? I don't know. We also, same uh, on the 28th of August was the Need for Speed 25th anniversary. And also sometime in August, Need for Speed Heat was announced. August was when things started to pick up a bit, honestly. Um... YouTube wise anyway uh, September was when it was a really hard time for me I lost a friend pretty much um, and whew, I was going through I was going through some shit I'll tell you that but um, I decided to set my mind on something that took my mind off of that and which is why you didn't really see me post much on Instagram my main account my private account you didn't see me post that much in it like I used to because I started working on Devil's Advocate, obviously, and that was really, like, I put my heart and soul into that album, and um, I'm just so glad that every last one of you who listened to that enjoyed it and gave me praise for it, and that there wasn't one track in there um, that was quote-unquote bad at all, like, Everyone liked every single track, and I want to thank you all so much for everyone who listened to it. If you haven't listened to it, go listen to it, honestly. I put everything I had into that. Way better than Binge Hours as well. And yeah, the last three months have been crazy, but it's this past month that's really, like, made this year so weird to me. Because <laughs> nothing bad has happened. Okay, one thing bad happened, and that's the P my PS4. I had to initialize it obviously and um that was that was bad but luckily i had playstation plus so i was able to get the majority of that back we uh 100 need for speed heat of course that was a great playthrough i really love playing through that another big thing is that need for speed is back and amazing as it it should have been before i mean 2015 was good but there were problems with it and heat every problem in 2015 was kind of cured in need for speed heat um, it's, it's amazing, man. Um, my friends also, they had, uh, they had their albums release. Um, 
Bad Nehemiah had a uh, Forbidden Fruits release, and uh, TJ had Bright Nights. That was amazing. And uh, Kingston's released his song as well, but um, I just ha I didn't have the time to listen to it. Well, I've listened to it, but I didn't have the time to react to it. So if you're watching this video, Kingston, I'm sorry for that. But um, um, I'll definitely react to the next uh, song you do. But anyway, whew, looking forward to 2020. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to try and wake up as early as I possibly can. And uh, we're going to start a whole new Let's Play with Fallout 76. Of course, this year... Uh, this month we started uh, another let's play as well with destiny uh we played destiny 2 that i didn't really like that that much but destiny 1 was great but honestly i can't really say much bad about uh this month really apart from the whole initialization thing this might be inverted but look at that oh it's not inverted can you see that look at that i don't know if it's like out of focus but look at that need for speed the official Need for Speed Instagram account liked my post. Like, look, if I go on the post now, it will show Need for Speed. Look at that. That is absolutely fucking crazy. Yo, shout out to TJ, by the way, and Kingston and Nehemiah. Go follow them on Instagram if you can read through that. But look at that. That is absolutely crazy. Need for Speed liked my post. And of course, we had a um, Devil's Advocate release. That was really cool. Um, with I, I, it still blows my mind how we were able to get like 16 tracks. Look at that! Look at how big that track list looks. <laughs> that is absolutely fucking crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. I'm so happy that I was able to get that released. Of course, TJ. Had Bright Nights, absolutely amazing as well. That was so cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking forward to the future, honestly. Uh, 2020 is just going to be amazing. Christmas was great. I pretty much got everything I wanted, to be honest. Um, if I show you guys a photo of me and my new hat, my new coat. That I actually I actually can't wear the hat right now. I have to, as you can tell, I've gelled my hair and shit. Pretty much because um, <laughs> the hairdressers that I went to kind of fucked up a bit. But at least I can gel it. But there you go. Look at that. New fucking jacket, new hat and everything. Like, that is absolutely... That is so cool, man. And yeah. I've tried to hold out on playing Fallout 76. But tomorrow, folks, we're going to be playing it um, live, obviously. To kick off 2020. It is going to be so cool. Obviously. Shout out to Nehemiah as well. Has he got a Forbidden Fruit. Uh, forbidden Fruits post on here. I think he does. Look at that. That album was pretty cool as well. So. Um, yeah. I'm really looking forward to next year. Honestly. I have plans already. I have plans set. Until this time next year when it comes to music. So if you liked Devil's Advocate, there's plenty more to come, let me tell you that. And that's going to start in January or early February at the latest. Uh, Devil's Advocate 2. Well, I'm trying to find a, another name for that. But it's definitely going to be Devil's Advocate, the second one. Uh, the sequel. Uh, I wouldn't really call it a sequel because it's not an album. It's not the second album. The second album is going to be coming out in March, probably. Somewhere around there. I think that'd be pretty cool, um, but yeah, I don't really have much to talk about now. So honestly, um, I thought, why not talk about the tracks from Devil's Advocate? I, I've never really gone into detail about what each track was about. Obviously, y'all, uh, pretty much every single one of you heard intro, um, and every single one of you liked intro, of course. I mean, it's easy to tell what that song was about, obviously. It, it was just the introduction and, and to what to expect throughout the rest of the album. Imagination. Every time you guys get knocked down, get up. Wake up. Don't stay in your bed all day, all right? No matter how late you go to bed and how late you wake up, always wake up. Always get up, okay? That's what Imagination was about, obviously. And I did that. Um, I could have... 
started overdosing on sleep pills again in September, but instead I got up every day and I just wrote song lyrics. I put everything I had into Devil's Advocate, obviously. Um, peace of mind, of course. A lot of people thought that was a true story about me. Peace of mind actually isn't a true story. Uh, I completely made that up. Um, but it might not be made up for you. That might be like a true story for you. Who knows? But for me, it was made up. Uh, but peace of mind too. Yes, I'm confirming that right now. Is going to be a true story. Um, what it be about? I don't know yet. Or well, I do know. I just don't want to tell you. Of course, we had levitate. Me ending the diss track war with Ryan. Obviously, that's the last time I'm gonna mention. Well. I'm obviously going to mention it, but that's the last time I'm going to make a song about that, obviously. Um, the Everything is okay interlude. A lot of people, a few people were actually that kind of confused over why that song was on the album. Didn't really suit anything, even if it was just an interlude. Honestly, I was saving that track for the second album, which is going to be like a sad album. But, um, you know, I decided to put it on here because it kind of suited it. Uh, because the track afterwards would also suit the second album, which was sometimes... And then, one of the favorites, Man of the Year. Man, I feel like the Man of the Year right now after this month, honestly. I'm going to make an Instagram post as well. It'll probably already be up by the time this is um, up. But, um, yeah, that, that track was amazing. Ugh, that track didn't even take me that long. About 2 minutes, 36 long. Then the outro track remain the same. I promise you lot, I will remain the same. No matter how much things change, okay? You know, like it says in the song, nice things change, I remain the same. So even if all this changes, even if all this like positivity and shit that I've got this month turns to negativity in January, I'm still going to remain the same. And, you know, all the promises that I make are still going to remain the same. Obviously, I want to make um, a whole new... Like, I want to do a load of collabs next year, not just with TJ. Of course, me and TJ have got plenty planned. Not just with Need for Speed Heat, but Need for Speed Payback as well. That series is going to be coming sometime in the summer. Uh, and then Need for Speed 2015, we're going to be returning that in around, like, November. November. And we'll also, don't worry, I know people are going to start asking me soon enough, where's Red Dead Online? Don't worry, that is coming, okay? I promise, I promise you guys that Red Dead Online, it, it will come back. Red Dead will always be involved in this channel, okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right now, for people who are still watching, I will be bringing Red Dead Revolver to the channel in 2020. But like, it's been such a weird year. Like, 2018 was by far the worst year of my life, and it even ended shit. Um, with the whole legacy shit, like, just that whole thing exploding. So 2019, I just felt I had a huge disadvantage. But I reached, like, last few days of the year, look at my subscriber count. I'm at 500 subscribers. That is absolutely amazing. I want to thank everyone who subbed. I earned five, six, I think I had like six subs yesterday in the live stream, the final live stream of the year, and that is crazy, I want to thank everyone new who tuned, up, uh, tuned in, um, everyone who's came from, who's come from the Need for Speed um, series, man, there's going to be plenty of content, uh, some of which you might not like, you might not even like the music I put out, but don't worry, Need for Speed will never stop being on the channel, I will always have Need for Speed on the channel, you could call me a Need for Speed YouTuber at this point, because that's the main thing now. But don't worry for those of you who are thinking, oh, what about WWE 2K? Are we going to lose that? Don't worry. I will always have that on the channel as well. 2K16, that series is not going to end until I finish it. And then even after that, we're going to be bringing back WWE 2K17. So don't you worry. That will always be on the channel. So pretty much... I don't know what there's left to talk about now, honestly. Uh, I have two albums planned to release next year. Uh, and a bunch of EPs and maybe a couple mixtapes uh, when it comes to music. Need for Speed. I have so much more content almost daily 
for Need for Speed Heat. And once we finish with Need for Speed Heat, hell, there's still going to be like the DLCs and stuff. So it may, it might be like a year, hopefully a year before I finish up with that game. And then we got Need for Speed Payback as well. I'll be doing the Let's Play solo, obviously, because it's a single player campaign. And then we'll get into the multiplayer with TJ, which is going to be really cool as well. And then bringing back Need for Speed 2015, I'm going to do a grip playthrough because, you know, the grip handling model in that game is broken. So I want to see if I can beat the entire game while only using grip cars. Um, it's just going to be really cool, man. And... I don't know how Fallout 76 is going to be, apparently it's a really broken game, but I mean, I've played a lot of broken games and made something big out of it, you know, WWTK 17 Red Dead Online, we've made some, we made great series out of them too, 2K18 as well, we made an amazing series out of WW2K18, the best series I've ever done, if you're a fan of WW2K in any way, shape or form, you've got to go check out my WWE content, pretty much all you have to do, and I'll, I'll show you guys how to find or the WWE content, pretty much, all you gotta do is go on YouTube, um, and look, you can see, this is the home screen right now, obviously Red Dead Online Christmas Special is the trailer, channel trailer right now, but this video is gonna be the channel trailer once it uploads, obviously if you scroll down, you're gonna find Need for Speed, and then you scroll down again, Red Dead Redemption 2, keep scrolling down, you got Batman Arkham, Five Nights at Freddy's 3, Red Dead Online, and the, the check these out playlist, these have got like the extra um, like playlists and shit. I'll be adding so much more to this. You've got Doom, WW2K16, Minecraft, Detroit, Life is Strange, Goat Simulator. And then all the way at the bottom, it says WW2K My Career Mode, the final chapter. I actually have some gameplay in the, game, uh, in the background if you're wondering what that is. I have gameplay simply because uh, this is the only way I'm able to record a full screen video. Obviously, you've got WW2K. My Career Mode, the final chapter. There's WW2K17 My Career Mode, the first big series I ever did. We've got 2K17 My Career Mode Alternate, 2K17 My Career Beyond. And then this playlist down here, WW2K My Career Mode, the final chapter, has 198 videos. And it includes the obvious, the My Career Mode from the game, My Career Beyond as well. Um, it's, it's even got like a little short 2K16 playthrough. So yes, we have played the game before. Uh, but if you want to scroll all the way down to the end, on, towards the end, you'll find a series named Universe Career Mode, where I literally made an entire series out of nothing, and we ended that series with that one right down there, the Hall of Fame video. That is just crazy. I'll probably set that as my channel trailer for when I um, end my YouTube career, which I don't know is I don't know when that is, but it's whatever. But yeah. WWE content, always going to be on the channel. I, I can't stop that. I love doing that too much. I'm too good at it anyway. Even if I didn't enjoy it, I am too good at it. So, you know. And that's from years of practice on that. Not only good at the game, but good at telling a story out of it. Um, but yeah, we got so much more content. We've had so much content this year. Of course, we returned to Doom, obviously. Um, we returned to the Batman games. Obviously, we played all three this year. We played. Um, I've got the Ray Shaw Ghoul thing in the background. If you guys are wondering what part of Arkham City, uh, what the gameplay is, anyway. Pretty much, we played Arkham Asylum in August. We played Arkham Knight and beat that just in time for Need for Speed Heat. And we played Arkham City. That's all three games. My only regret is that there is no way to play. Arkham Origins. This is actually also a regret. I wanted to return to Five Nights at Freddy's 3 this month, but I I must have forgotten completely about it. I don't know what that was. But anyway, let me know in the comments what you guys are looking forward to in 2020, whether it's my content or your own content. Um, obviously, I'm going to be uploading on Instagram as well, so go like that. Um, at its underscore only nobody. I'll probably have it up on screen if I get it wrong which I sometimes do, but I'll have it up on screen, uh, probably. Um, but if I don't have it up on screen, it's in the description anyway. Um, so, yeah, go follow me on Instagram. You'll see all the channel updates. Um, you'll see exact timings when I am editing the video and when I'm planning to release it. Go check out the last two episodes 
of Need for Speed Heat. Obviously, go check out the live stream, the last live stream of 2019. You don't need to uh, watch all of it. Just, like, give us the view and the like. That would be pretty cool. And watch a little bit of it, obviously. Uh, go check out the last Need for Speed Heat video I did with the Nissan 370Z. Also, go check out all the Batman series and stuff. Uh, Batman will return next year. Um... Arkham Knight definitely will return because uh, the five-year anniversary is coming up. But I don't know about the other two games. I guess we'll see. Um, and maybe even Watch Dogs 3. But I'm really not sure about that. And also Doom Eternal is coming out this uh, 2020 as well. Like 2020 is going to be a big year. Hopefully we finally get those flying cars, people from the 80s. I'm joking. But 2020, the year of the gamer. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button as high as you possibly can. Comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace!